Beneath the green canopy of trees covering this part of Michoacan state, Mexico's police lie in wait. Heavily armed security patrols thread their way through the grasslands. It's a show of force after a helicopter crashed last Tuesday, killing the pilot and four police officers inside. It's not clear why it came down, but Mexico security forces say it was shot down by drug gangs. Many in Michoacan state struggle to live a normal life as drug cartels have been fighting for control of the area's poppy fields and trafficking routes, and the police and military try to stop them. Fear makes the locals stay quiet. Criminal gangs can extort money from you for simply being a producer. There are huge problems that make you doubt whether to even mention them because only by mentioning them you place yourself in the eye of the storm. The Mexican government's had some success since a campaign to weaken the cartels was launched by Philippe Calderon when he was president in 2006. And the arrest of gang leaders, including Servando Gomez, known as La Tuta, has fragmented the cartels. But smaller groups are still fighting for control. Now the people of Michoacán don't have a single enemy, they have many. People think that the situation has worsened because before people knew where the enemy was, what their strategies were. Now it's not known where they are. And killings are on the rise again in Michoacán. In the first seven months of this year, 678 people were murdered. That's compared to 777 murders for the entirety of 2015. 150 people were killed in July, and that's double the number for the same period last year. Mexico's drug cartels may have been weakened, but the threat seems still as great. Rob Matheson, Al Jazeera.